this video, I'll show you how I use alumen shaped meshed material in order to perform direct implant reconstruction. As you can see here, I've taken two pieces of the shaped material and put them side by side and sewn them along the long straight edge. Well, Stacy is here just to get this in place, and then we're going to purse string it next. So, both side. Just cruising around uh, this purse string suture. I throw kind of one direction and then come out the other way. Okay, so here we are rounding out the whole circle. I'm going to come through here with the last couple of these purse string stitches. It, it creates a little bit of crimping around the edge, but nothing that translates to the front of the device, as I'll show you when we're done here. This is all going to be on the back side, which is going to go against the chest wall, but we're also going to smooth this out quite a bit once we put this back wall coverage on. We're going to use this as a uh, surge cell product, but it's actually something we can sew to. Um, I've cut it in half. One piece is six by nine inches, and it's plenty large to do two breasts. This is a bilateral case. You can see this is going to, I'm going to lay this on the back of the device here, and I'm going to actually cut this so it fits perfectly as I sew it around into place. started putting this into place now, and what I'll do is I'll tailor it as I go. So I'm going to just start sewing one side. I like to keep this dry. The product does get wet. It will. It, it is a little bit soft, and uh, I like to keep it dry until it goes into the uh, pocket in the mastectomy pocket. So, and again, it's a hemostatic product, so it's nice. It goes against the, the, the pectoralis muscle, where it not only helps keep this intact while it's uh, setting, but it also helps us keep um, the uh, muscle uh, dry and help, works as a hemostatic agent. So, got my last little bit here. Like I said, I've been sort of tailor tacking as I go. Now it's cut to shape and size, and I'm going to put the last few bites here, and I'm going to tie to my lead uh, knot, and I'm going to end up with a nice, totally covered back wall with this very sewable hemostatic agent that will be there for about a couple weeks while this is all setting into place in the mastectomy pocket. All right, so this is what we've got here. Now we've got the front of this, the seam we put on initially. This is the two pieces put together along their straight edge. You see the mesh it's expanded nicely around the device. And these ridges really don't come into play. They're all the way out on the outside part of this and they'll be mostly on the chest wall. And I actually use these as uh, little things to take bites of to make this stick to the chest wall in situ. So I'll actually place sutures um, pretty much circumferentially if possible or around the entire lower pole as much as I can reach in a nipple sparing case. And this will hold this in place. Once it's sutured in place, obviously, uh, this could um, melt away over the next couple of weeks and it would uh, probably not have any uh, impact on all of this incorporating the right spot.